Hello, beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Today, I'm talking about the witches of the fire element. The witches of the fire element. Very powerful, very powerful witches of the fire element. If you're a witch of the fire element, you can be of the other ones too, the water, the air, and the earth. But connecting, connecting, connecting. I'm going to give you two exercises or rituals towards the end of this video. So if you want to use those for you, you don't have to be a fire witch to use them. You can use them in all aspects of your life. This is for entertainment only. Um, if you connect, great. If you don't, okay. <laughs> but I'm going to give you a lot of powerful, powerful messages and information about being a fire witch or a witch of fire, whatever it is that you want to call yourself. Okay. So the direction of a fire witch is they work very powerful when they are doing the direction of south if you're looking at the south if you're doing your prayers your rituals your asking allowing receiving being in the direction of south the a fire witch rules are strength their rules that that, that are in embossed in them or connecting to them is strength physical exercise self-empowerment self-knowing power courage their energy, they have great energy, will, will, they have a lot of will, they can heal, but they can also destruct, right? It's using the fire in a great way. Fire can heat you, but it can also burn your house down at the same time. So using it wisely, connect with a fire witch wisely, and they will connect with you what you're deserving. If you're wanting the healing or you're wanting the prayers or you want to be, you know, on fire. The season is summer. The time is noon. The colors are red and orange, gold and white. So connecting with red, connection with gold, connecting with white, working with that, using that. The zodiac sign for a fire witch are Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Okay, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius are the zodiac sign. The tools for a fire witch is candles, uh, swords, dagger, lamps, burnt herbs, any kind of any kind of herbs, fire and wood. Virtue, willpower or willpower is courage and enthusiastic, being enthusiastic, being that. Their vices can be anger, they can be jealousy and be hatred, being very if they're mad at you, oh they're mad at you. If they hate you, they hate you. If they're jealous, they can be very overly jealous and then they they need to learn to uh, calm down their anger to calm down their anger okay crystals that work very well with fire witches or working with fire element is uh, fire opal I got this from some great gentlemen that did some this is from Australia uh, fire opal ruby garnet coral works very, very well. Red Jasper, Bloodstone, um, uh, Lavender Stone, and Tiger Eye. I have a Tiger Eye around here somewhere. Works very well with the fire um, witches. <laughs> Just went I kind of off a little bit there. Okay, metals, gold and brass, anything that has a copper, gold and brass, but gold and brass are more stronger. Plants are allspice, basil, cinnamon, garlic juniper hibiscus um nettle onion and peppers it's kind of all different kinds of things and it can be different colors of peppers it, not just red pepper it can be the orange pepper the yellow peppers green peppers ruling planet for a fire witch is sun and mars working with the sun and working with mars fire represents the fire witches represent energy inspiration giving you hope passion and leadership i know a lot of leos that are very good at being leadership and sagittarius and aries too but the people that i've known are very 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 powerful fire witches is represented in forms of like uh, like work is firemen bakers uh, doing love spells helping people change transformation healers nurses doctors policemen um, helping people to release and do a new beginning. And I can help you with that, psychicdebbie.com. I can help you with that. 
Fire witches are very connected to youth, being in the young, being in the vivacious. If they're not connected to the youth, then they can get old really fast. If they're not connecting to their youth or being vivacious or being in movement or doing things that make them laugh, if you haven't laughed in a long time, it, it will age you, not just by looks, but body and physically and things. So being very connected to the youth of you. Um, fire witches are a masculine energy. So there's always the feminine and the masculine. And I get it in the other realm where it's the is space that I'm always talking about, that there is no duality. That's only in this three dimensional space. So if you're a fire witch and you're working with rituals or um, doing any kind of healing, you can bring the feminine and the masculine together. But you're very good. Fire witches are very good at making the foundation and creating and like having a fire and making the fire huge and big. So that's very connection. Um, fire witches are attractive. They can attract, they can create, reconstruct. They can be of warmth. They can be of comfort, strength, and hope. They can give you hope, comfort, and war warmth. But if they don't like you, then it can be the opposite. <laughs> okay. So, um, so sometimes I say to people, be very careful and connect with a fire witch be very connecting to them because they can be very loving and very caring and very giving you hope and comfort but if you excuse my language if you piss them off watch out because they'll burn you down or they'll create a fire <laughs> okay so um there's great elements of everybody right so i'm trying to turn my page here i don't want to turn my page okay fire witches draws power from fire from candles and from the sun and from the star. So doing like rituals with fire, doing rituals with the sun, doing rituals with the stars, doing rituals with the fire candles, any kind of form like that. They can help light the fire within you. See, this is a great thing. They can fire, help you fire the light within you or they can blow out your fire. So they, they, they're very strong, very strong. They can help you with the light of the fire within you like a coach like on sports or spirituality. They can help you be a, a great mentor, great mentor. They can help you with transformation. They can help you with addictions. They can help you with a venture if you want to do a venture. They can help you create confidence or you are confidence. If you're a fire witch, you can help, you can do transformations. You can let, release re addictions. If you are a fire witch, you should do more adventures, be adventurous. They can be very conf confident and they can be very ambitious. But if they're, if they're a weak fire witch, then you're, you're going to have jealousy and you're going to have anger. So they, they are very divided. They can be one way or another. There's not a lot of gray points in a fire witch. Okay. The goddess of fire is temptress, temptress. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, the planet and stars that empower a fire witch are the sun, Mars, and Jupiter, okay? The tarot card that connects with a fire witch is a sword because the sword, they, they, they will do the action. Like I said, you're, you're um, in charge. You could be a manager. You could be a CEO. You can be always in charge. You're always telling people what to do, how to do it. Don't do that. Do that. Don't do that. Do this, you know? <laughs> so they're, like I said, because they could be really good coaches, they can be very good mentors, even though they can't do it. They're very good at telling you where to do or what not to do or how to do it or not to do it. Very good action, strength, king, superior warriors need, need some kind of action, need some like direction, call on a fire witch, call on a fire witch. They're fantastic. Or if you're a fire witch, call on yourself, go inward and ask yourself which direction I need to go. Fire witches can help you burn your troubles away. They can help you. They can say, this is the trouble. They'll tell it how it is. Here's the thing that you're doing wrong. And, and sometimes it can be bitey. Sometimes it can be bitey, like a Scorpio or something. Ah, you know what I mean? So it can be bitey. Okay, here's a ritual of a fire for a fire witch or a fire witch. Do it in a safe place. Um, and I'm not saying that you have to do it this way, but this is an idea. This is a ritual. So make a spiritual circle. And I say, a lot of times I tell people to do it with salt, do a spiritual circle, or you can do it with flowers, or you can do it with wood, you can do it with crystals, 
or in imagine in your mind's eye a, a, a spiritual circle. Face south, write on a piece of paper or a bay leaf your desires or write your blockages, what you want to release, the blockages of not receiving money, blockages of not receiving love, the blockages of not making me ha happy, healthy, whole and complete, the release the blockages that I um, trying to find the right home, trying to find blockages of me not getting the right job, the blockages of me not getting the right partner. You know, there's so many things that you could release the blockages of. Or if you have a fear, you're having a fear of I'm going to do a speech and I'm in fear of that so that you can have power and strength. Put it on a bay leaf or a piece of a uh, piece of paper. Again, this is not for this is for adults and doing this in the safe place. OK, so then you would light it on fire while you're lighting, say, the bay leaf on fire with the blockages on there or releasing the blockages, say, as you burn, so do my problems. As these troubles vanish into the flames, so do all my troubles, fears, worry, and doubt. So be it, so be it, so be it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then when, after you do this ritual, you can do it three days in a row. I usually, or do it three times in a row, three days in a row, three and three and three, because three is a very powerful number. You could do it for three days in a row, three times a day, or three, you know, three weeks or whatever. After you do this ritual, though, you have to listen to your hunches. You have to listen to your hunches. And it might be that you're at, you're saying there's troubles at work and then all of a sudden some kind of um, hunch about a romance or a partnership and you're like, what? That has nothing to do with work. But maybe you're focusing on that and not focusing on your work and that's what's causing the blockage, okay? So definitely listen to your hunches. Don't do this exercise if you're not going to change or listen to the hunches or the signs or the, or the, the messages that the spiritual world is going to give to you because then it's not going to change. Then it's not going to change. Okay, Ele elemental, elemental beings and animals. So salamanders are very, very powerful fire witches, salamanders that they can change colors, they can, they can, they can change direction, they can be very focused. Okay, a phoenix rising, a red tail hawk. I, I, I just got a red feather here, so <laughs> a red tail, real t red tail hawk, a lion, a red tail fox. Connecting with these animals, entities to help you be in strength. Call on the salamander, call on the phoenix rising, call on the red tail hawk, call on the lion, or use like a like this red feather as an element to connect. Okay. Ask these animals, these entities to help you be in strength, achievement, goals. If you have certain goals, master your truth, passion and purpose, and help with transformation. So these elemental beings and animals can help you with the transformation into the betterment of whatever direction you're trying to go into, okay, with the fire witch. So the fire witches, I feel like, can shapeshift to these elemental beings or animals, okay? So to be in that space, you can get into that space. Birds that are connected to fire witches are eagles, her herons, um, peacocks, quails, robins, and wrens. So you're asking a question, like I said, you just did that ritual that I gave you and all of a sudden a robin comes up or you see a, a red tail hawk or you see an eagle. Then it's ask, it's answering your question or it's answering your, your desires or saying, yes, we're here to help you transform or be into your power or be into your spirituality, okay? Trees that are connected to a, a fire witch are thorn, holly, and oak. So like hugging an oak tree, connecting to a holly, using the, 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 the beads or the, the essence of a holly like around Christmas. Okay, so using that in your rituals or your potions or whatever it is that you're desiring to do. The angel that connects with a fire witch that you can call on is Archangel Michael. Your senses are that you can see is sight. So you see the truth, you see you see um, what's going on, you can see it and you can burn it. You can burn it and you can make it go away if you're a fire witch or asking a fire witch or connecting to the fire witch's sense. The metals, you're connected to metals 
and you can uh, you are very good at getting a negative or lower vibrations away from people so that's why I'm saying that you could be a healer even though that's a green color being a healer and helping people being a mentor getting releasing of that that jealousy or not self-confidence that you can bring that into it so if not wanting to connect or use a fire so like you're using that uh, ritual that I had instead of firing it putting the bay leaf inside of a triangle use triangles you notice that a lot of people will sit inside of a triangle or they create a triangle that is a fire element okay fire and wood element so you could put um, releasing uh, the blockages inside the triangle you could use it and put it in there or putting the releasing or the wishes that you desire inside the triangle and it can help you with that place your dreams and allow your desires inside the triangle and then and then do the ritual of uh, thank you for my beautiful home thank you for my beautiful home thank you for my beautiful home and every day and have it written and you can have it inside or I, I, I take a piece of paper and I fold it and then I just kind of lay it on the triangle like this or like the bay leaf you could do put it in there or if it's laying on the table then you could put it in the middle okay or you can put it above your head there's many places you can bring in the new beginnings just like a fire the birth of wisdom the seeds release and receive plant the seed release whatever the blockages are and then you can receive fire witches can help you clear the way and can bring on the new but they can be a little strong so if you're like no I don't think so they're gonna go I don't care this is the way it is this is what you need to do this is what you need to okay so they can be strong the fire witches or the element of fire witches can create forest fires but releasing the old when you're having a forest fire what is it doing it's getting rid of the old a lot of times like here in California or in the on the coast or in Australia it was getting rid of a lot of old there was you know people were saying yeah everything was dry and kindle and da 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 yeah it's getting rid of that's old it's dead it's old so they were trying to bring in a new and newness a seeds of the new beginning and I get it and I, I pray for the people that have passed or that it's destroyed their place and I'm sorry for that but it's trying to bring a new to you bring a new to you release the old bring in the newness awaken you and bring self-awareness to you so a, a fire witch can help you with that or if you are if you are a fire witch then that is what they can help and help you do with that okay um another uh ritual that you can do is create another fire circle and light a candle from the south okay so here's another ritual another fire ritual is it, again create a spiritual circle either in your mind's eye or I usually do salt or like I said crystals or you could do this outside you could do this inside be careful always in a safe safe place or you can use the triangle and then do it around that okay so then you would light the candle I'm going to do it this way so you would light the candle and then you would breathe in and breathe out three big times like <sighs> And then in and out breathe in good and breathe out good none of this good and breathe out bad mm -mm. doesn't work breathe in good breathe out good I'm breathing in the good that I have I breathe out the good I have because you're bringing in the goodness to you but you're bringing also the service not giving the service to the world and that can help And a fire uh, fire witch can help you with that or calling on a fire witch or you can do this ritual even if you're not a fire witch if you connect to it okay light the candle and say flame of fire flame of light bring to me now the second sight if you're wanting insight bless me and help me see the answers that are right for me so be it so be it so be it and i will say that again so if you're wanting to bring something to you or you're wanting to see the truth or if you're wanting to be more intuitive this is the ritual to do okay light the candle do make sure you do the spiritual circle light the candle breathe in and out three times <sighs> I mean really good breaths and take your time don't be in a hurry because then it's like I said the fire will destroy it you don't want to destroy it you're wanting to bring the light of it you want to bring the seeding of what a fire does okay say flame of fire flame of light bring to me now the second sight bless me and help me see the answers that are right for me so be it so be it so be it and you would do it three times 
you would do it three times. And you could do it three times in three days in a row, three times in six days in a row, or just three nights in a row is the best time is the best way to do it. If you're wanting to do it just once and see what happens, yes, it can happen. Can you get greatness from it? Yes. Would you get um, I think it would be more powerful to do it three days in a row because then the body of you, uh, the, where the fear, worry, and doubt is, is will, will kind of s subside and know that you're uh, truly safe and that you can go forward and that you can see the truth and you can see the light. Fire witches can help you see the truth and see the light and burn the old away and bring in the new. And that's what's so powerful about a fire witch. If you are a fire witch, if you think, oh, I resonate with this and I'm a, I am the, 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 you know, the Leo or the Aries or the Sagittarius or, or I know that I connect with fire and I'm not saying to burn people's houses down or anything like that, then do it for yourself also. Do these exercises for yourself and acknowledge all these great abilities that you have as being a fire witch because we need you, we want you, and we acknowledge you and we thank you. Okay, so you can be of light or you can be of destruction and you choose which fire which you want to be. Both are needed in this 3D world. Both are needed three in this 3D world. So that's that's up to you. I'm not saying to harm somebody or burn someone's house down. I'm saying clearing the way for people or light the fire within them because you're a very powerful being and we love our fire witches. So I want to give you blessings and smiles. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for connecting. If you want a reading with me, PsychicDebbie.com. I'm on Instagram, PsychicDebbieGriggs. I'm on Facebook, Debbie Griggs Psychic. And I also on this on podcast. Um, you know, I'm on um, iTunes. I'm on Google. I'm on iHeart. I'm on a bunch of platforms. So please like, share, and comment. Please like and share and comment. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I want to give you blessings and smiles, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.